Dr. Disrespect. I don't know if you've heard of him here on my channel, but he is a gigantic name in streaming, like one of the biggest streamers ever. And so Dr. Disrespect had a situation where he got banned off of Twitch and nobody really knew exactly the specifics of it. But recently somebody from Twitch came out and said that Doc was involved in like some kind of a scandal with a minor, some pedo shit. And so the question is, Dr. Disrespect, is he a doctor or is he a pediatrician? If you get my drift, right? So finally, after a whole bunch of people talking all kinds of shit, backing him, attacking him, et cetera, et cetera, the doc himself posted on Twitter, on X, his official story response of what happened. So I'm just going to read this out to you and then we'll talk about it. The Twitch man. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. You guys just tell me what, what's your feelings on the doc? I don't like watch him regularly. I just kind of know of him. And I saw that he backed Nick Merckx with the whole ban from the Call of Duty thing. The Call of Duty, Activision, made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin and bundle off the game. And just like that, he made it, got it in there, and they pulled it down. <sighs> That's a fucking tough one, man. So what I gotta do, what we gotta do, is uninstall the game, number one. I mean, don't get a mistake in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. Uh, but that decision by COD's PR marketing team, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you right now, man, that's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest. So that I supported. Anyways, we'll get back into it. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Midnight Society is like his company, so he's stepping down from his own group. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The, app, the answer is absolutely not. These were casual mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that caught, case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. I should have never, ha it should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't, don't get, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone who truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. 
But I think I've said what I need to say regarding the band itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys always showed me and my family the love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you always have been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned on stream. And I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Important. Steven Crowder said, you edited out minor and then edited it back in. So apparently he posted this and it had minor, individual minor, and then got edited out to individual and then got edited back to individual minor. I guess because he was weighing out whether it should sound bad or good or be less truthful, whatever. Anyways. <sighs> okay. Okay. There's a lot of problems with this. Dr. Disrespect. Let's look how old he is. He is 42 years old. We got a 42 year old guy seven years ago, which makes him 35. And apparently, from what I understand, he was flirting with a 17-year-old on some extraneous chatting app, Whisper, Twitch Whisper, which nobody uses or cares about. But from what I understand, Twitch Whisper is like an 18-plus app, so some young girl goes on there and then starts chatting with him. I mean, he said it. He said, we had conversations that leaned towards being inappropriate. I don't know what the hell that means, but it means inappropriate messaging to a 17 year old. So we have people who think that he needs to go into wood chipper. We have people that say, ah, it's not that big of a deal. We have people on the left that are saying the people on the right need to throw him into a wood chipper because you guys hate grooming and you guys hate pedophiles and you guys hate this. So Dr. Disrespect is the absolute epitome of horrible. I'm curious what your opinion is because I got videos of Joe Biden doing inappropriate things with little children. And we have the diary of Ashley Biden saying what she said about him with the showers and their friends, houses, etc. We have all of that and nothing happened. But then Dr. Disrespect says, hey, I was flirting with a 17-year-old that I never met in an app that only 18-year-olds are supposed to be on. And as a married man, I shouldn't have been doing any of that at all. It was all bad. It was a bad thing. I shouldn't have done it. It wasn't illegal, but I shouldn't have done it. And they're like, cancel him, fire him, destroy his company, all that. Hater sucks ass. Did he know her age? I'm going to assume yes. I'm assuming yes. So I don't have the logs, but I 100% assume that he knew because that would make it way worse. If he didn't know, he would say, I didn't know. And that would be so much better. That would be so much better. Now, Supporter Right says if it was an 18 plus app, he may not have known until later. That is possible too. But it's very possible, and I would say likely, he probably got DM'd by this person or DM'd this person based on their cover photo. And then they had some conversations. Then he found out the age and then they kept talking probably a little too long after that. That's my guess. So I'm saying she probably told him and then he probably flirted a little bit after that too, which is really bad. No bueno. But as I'm saying, Flirting with somebody seven years ago who was on an 18 plus app is not the same as showering with your daughter when she was a kid. It's not the same as Kevin Spacey, like exploiting 15 year old guys. 
and he's like, oh yeah, I hooked up with a 15 year old guy. Everyone tell me congratulations because I'm gay. And it's like, wait, what? It's like, it's not about you coming out as gay. It's about your being a pedo. But none of those people on the left ever catch any flack for actually doing stuff with minors. But then Dr. Disrespect needs to get thrown into the wood chipper. And they're saying that that's the same thing. I don't know, man. Look, I'm 32. It's totally disgusting to even think of entertaining 17 year old conversation. He's 35 years old. Ah, I don't, I don't like it. I'm the same token. My mom was 16 when she got pregnant with me. Like Keegan and I got together when we were 17. So I'm just like him flirting online with a 17 year old is like a really bad, really, really, really bad idea, but it's not illegal. And he didn't like do anything according to him. And it was settled. Like it got to the point where it was settled in court and they're like, yeah, nothing really illegal happened here. You got to pay out his contract. Like that's what happened. It just seems kind of disrespectful to his family and wife. And it's gross. It's gross. But I, I just don't understand the, the level that these left wing people are coming in and saying like, oh yeah, all you people that, that like Dr. Disrespect for being based, you need to throw him into the wood chipper because that's what you say about all these predators. These things are not weighed out the same, man. But Graham says, we've all made bad decisions. If you say you haven't, you're lying. Sure, everyone's made bad decisions generally. This is huge. Gen X says, what if the sexes were reversed? Will we still be having th the same conversations? That's one thing. There's been a bunch of people from Twitch that don't like the doc. And it's these female e-girl streamers that do OnlyFans and they stream on Twitch in their bikini underwear, right? So they're like in lingerie streaming with a link to their OnlyFans. And Twitch is like a 13 plus platform. So you have these women basically goading and hitting on all of these teenage boys and linking them to their OnlyFans. And then they're coming out hating on Dr. Disrespect for flirting with the jailbait seven years ago. Like they just don't have the moral high ground whatsoever. So my opinion, I don't like it. It's absolute trash. He's saying it's absolute trash. He didn't do anything illegal, but damn, dude, I'm a nobody on the internet. And like my DMs, I get all of these people trying to talk to me. And I'll tell you what, I assume 90% of them are catfish bots, trolls, uh, CIA assets. So I don't entertain any of that crap and nobody should. That's like the big warning. Don't, don't just don't, don't chat with anybody online and definitely don't be, don't be doing flirtatious chats with people that you don't know. I'm mostly disappointed. Gen X says, I'm not saying it wasn't morally wrong, but it seems like a double standard. Yeah. That, that's all I'm saying too. It's like Joe Biden can pinch little girl's nips on camera. And, and these gay dudes all the time are getting caught with underage boys and men that they're, they're getting with. And it's just like slap on the hand or nothing, but then Dr. Disrespect flirting with a 17 year old destroy his whole life, 17 years ago or seven years ago. It's, it sucks. Cause I, I mean, obviously, like I said, I do not absolutely do not condone the behavior and no one does. And I, and he even said. It was deplorable. Darmax says leftists want to throw us in the wood chipper for breathing. Yeah, that is accurate. That is totally accurate. Support our rights. He at least owned what he did and didn't try to hide it. That does speak to someone's character, in my opinion. Yeah, they were saying that he said, I couldn't talk about it based on probably the settlement with Twitch until Twitch employees came out saying part of the story. He's like, all right, which honestly, I don't know that he put the, the, age in other people said it was a 17 year old. So please in the comments, if you know that I, it's not a 17 year old, please tell me, but people were like insinuating. It was like some sound of freedom shit where he was like trying to groom up some like eight year old or something. And it's like, there's a fucking difference there. There is, there just is like all over the world in different areas. There's age of consent. That's like 16 or 17. I think it's disgusting. I'm 32, not interested in any of that. It's gross. I'm just saying there's definitely a fucking, a bit of a pendulum difference 
between having a text thread with no anything that happens and then hooking up with a kid, which does happen, and then nothing comes of it. So, right, Kay Wheatley says uh, pedophilia is wrong, but only to the left, only when the unacceptable people do it. So as far as standards, it's like you got to hold people to certain standards. It's like, this is trash. You had this happen. Unbelievable. It's just disappointing. It's very disappointing is what it is. Because you have somebody who's like, he's six, eight and jacked and a gamer. And a lot of people looked up to him. If you enjoyed this clip from the ThoughtCast, please like, subscribe, comment what you think. And catch us live on Rumble, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All links down below.